Now it's no secret that one of my favorite Parallax products is the S2 robot. It's just such a cute, compact design, which makes getting started in robotics very easy, while also providing a platform that you can grow with and complete more advanced robotics applications. So today, we're going to show you how to solder your very own S2 robot badge, so that if you're like me, you can take your love for robotics and show it off wherever you go. Now, if you've never soldered before, don't worry. We'll take you through all of the steps you need to know to make your first soldering project a success. And trust me, it's a lot of fun. So, let's get started. Now, if you're joining us at one of our soldering workshops, you'll see the following equipment. A Hako soldering station, a Panavice Junior Vice, which has been graciously donated to us by Panavice, uh, some solder, safety glasses, wire cutters, and of course, everything that you'll need to complete the activity. Now, if at any point you need a refresher on the art of soldering, instructions have been conveniently printed on the acrylic bases we've created for the Panavice Junior. Now, if you're soldering this kit at home and you don't have a Panavice Junior, you can definitely get by without it. But we think it's super helpful, so if you get a chance, you should check one out. Now that we've got all of our equipment, all we have to do is pop on our safety glasses and get ready to solder. Now the order we solder in is going to be important so that we make each part as easy to solder as possible. First, we'll start with the push button. Slip the push button into the holes on the back side of the PCB and make sure the connection is tight and that the plastic is flush with the board. Then insert the PCB into the Panavice Junior and tighten to fit. Now the key to soldering is heat. It's how we're able to bend molten metal to our will. So go ahead, pick up the soldering iron, but keep in mind that this area is very hot and so don't touch it. You may want to wipe the soldering iron on the sponge a couple of times to clean off any excess solder that might have been left from a previous job. Then press the iron onto one of the pads of the push button and let it sit there for a couple seconds to heat up. Gently touch some solder to the pad and add enough solder so that the solder completely covers the pad and forms sort of a pyramid shape with the push button lead. Remove the solder, but leave the iron on the pad for about another second before you remove it. Then inspect the joint and make sure the solder forms a concave joint with the push button lead. If everything looks good, you can continue soldering the remaining pads, starting with the pad located diagonally across from the first joint that you soldered. This makes sure the push button will stay in place as you finish soldering the part. Next, we'll solder the LED, but first we'll need to bend the leads to fit on the S2 PCB. Included in the kit is a bender tool. Insert the LED into the tool with the right angle lead facing outward, like so. Make sure the LED is inserted all the way into the part, and then bend the LED leads over the largest part of the tool, like so. Remove the LED from the bender tool and make sure that the right angle LED lead is on the left hand side when the leads are pointing upward. Then insert the LED through the bottom side of the PCB and solder the leads from the back side of the board, using the same technique that we use for the push button. Place the soldering iron on the pad, wait a couple of seconds for the pad to heat up, add a little bit of solder so that the pad is completely covered and it forms a sort of concave shape with the lead. Remove the solder, leave the soldering iron on for another couple of seconds, and then remove the iron. Remove the board from the Panavice Junior and then use the wire cutters to clip the LED and push button leads so that they're flush with the board. The last part we'll need to solder is the battery holder. Insert the holder onto the bottom side of the board, making sure the open end is facing forward. Flip the board over and then solder the tabs. Now that everything is soldered, we're ready to snap the wheels into place. Use the bender tool to remove the excess plastic from the wheels. Then align the wheels so that the spoke pattern is facing outward and snap them into place. Now all you need to do is to slide the battery into the battery holder, make sure the positive side of the battery is facing out towards you, and you have your very own completed S2 robot badge. 
congratulations. See, didn't I tell you it was going to be fun? Now, once the LED finishes going through its flashing sequence, you can then use the push button to cycle through different LED colors and then use the included lanyard to make a necklace. So then you can go out and show off your soldering skills and robot love wherever you go because it's a fun thing to do. What? Is this too much? Well, in any case, until next time, happy soldering.